Welcome back to the workbench. Today, let's talk about washes. Hi, I'm Matt and this is Model Minutes. Occasionally, I get the odd question here and there about washes. So let's take a quick look at how you can make your own super simple and easy to make enamel wash at home. And believe me, this is something that pretty much everyone can do. So what is a wash? Well, in essence, it's a very thin paint. Modelers tend to use it to bring out details in their model, helping to show contrast, dirt and grime. You can see on my Airfix Spitfire Mark 1A that the wing which I've already applied the wash to has panel lines that really stand out, whereas the other wing doesn't have the same effect. But why am I going to apply a homemade enamel wash to this model? Well, there are a number of reasons for this. Firstly, I've got to think about the paints I've already used. I've painted the camouflage on this model using acrylic paint. If I apply a acrylic wash to the model, I run the risk of damaging the paintwork when I come to remove the excess wash. You'll see what I mean when I get to that point in the video. Alternatively, if I'd painted this model with enamel, I would use an acrylic wash. Secondly, there are a number of acrylic and enamel washes that you can buy in your local hobby shop, but they can be quite expensive particularly if you only need a small amount for a certain model. Although they do work quite well, I don't always see the need to fork out a large amount of money on a product I may only use once or twice. Particularly if I need a specific color of wash, I might be able to make it at home. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Here are the things you're going to need. Enamel paint. I'm using this tin of a rarely used Humbrol 33 matte black. A small pot for mixing a fine paintbrush, and some white spirit. The bottle I'm using is a little old, but will do just fine for this task. You could use specialist enamel thinners if you wanted to, but again, that would push the price up and isn't really needed. Now I'm going to make the wash. The black enamel paint has to be properly mixed before you use it so that you get a good even color. Sometimes I find that the paint isn't mixed, the colour will be wrong or it could leave a glossier finish than expected due to the separation of the pigments. A small amount of this paint is added to the pot, then it is mixed with white spirit until I get a very thin wash. I've made this roughly by eye, but at an estimate it's about one part paint to six parts white spirit. It will sort of have the consistency of skimmed milk by the time I've finished with it. Naturally, it's up to you how thick or thin you make it, depending on your needs and the darkness of the colour you want. I give it a good mix and now it's ready to be applied to the model. Before I can do this though, I need to make sure it will conform to all the panel lines. Some of them have decals covering them and I found that sometimes the wash won't flow over the decals properly and can affect the overall finish I'm going for. To remedy this, I take a sharp knife and carefully cut the decal along the panel lines, removing any shavings that might be created in the process. Now, the wash is very carefully dabbed onto the panel lines. You can see that as it is thin, the wash gets sucked into the lines due to capillary action. I'm using a slightly thicker brush than I would have liked and it's leaving residue in places, but I'll fix that in a minute. Another way to apply this wash is to brush it over the details and let it soak in. Areas that I tend to do this are wheel wells, cockpits and other places like that. With the wash now starting to dry, small areas of excess wash can be removed by carefully brushing that area with a brush dipped in white spirit. I take care to only apply as much as I need, excess white spirit being removed with a paper towel. A cotton bud can be used to help remove excess wash and I tend to do this in the direction of gravity or airflow, depending on the type of the model. This can increase the weathered look on the model. For larger areas, a paper towel with white spirit applied can be used to remove the excess wash. I do find that this can leave little bits of paper on the model though and it will need to be carefully cleaned up. So a better option, like in the case of this typhoon, is to use a sponge. As mentioned earlier, it's this stage that could cause a problem. If I'd used enamel paints for this model, I would run the risk of removing that paint with all this white spirit. 
Fortunately, the acrylic layers aren't affected in this way. With that done, and the model now having a wash applied that I'm happy with, I'm going to give it a coat of clear matte varnish, which will dull it down slightly and give a more uniform finish. When the varnish is dried, I've now got a Airfix Spitfire Mark 1A with all the panel lines highlighted and other areas weathered using my super simple and cost effective homemade wash. Naturally, if you would prefer the wash to be lighter or darker or a different colour, then all you need to do is simply swap out for that colour of enamel paint. So. Let's wrap this one up. For a little work and with some cheap paints, you can end up enhancing the look of your models with a simple homemade enamel wash. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, please consider pressing that like button. And also feel free to leave a comment with a suggestion for any other tutorials that you might like to see. Make sure you subscribe with notifications on so that you never miss a modeling video. As always, honorable mention and massive thanks to my patrons over on Patreon. To find out how you can help support the channel and join these people here, take a look at the links in the description. Speaking of the description box, you'll find links to my social media accounts. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Discord. Finally, a massive thank you to you for watching this video, and I'll see you all on the workbench again next time.